Yo, what's up guys? It's your boy Dr. D's. We are back with another video. So today we're talking about if you should summon or if you should not summon. But before we get into that, I just wanted to mention that your boy Dr. D's is a little disappointed. I'm a little disappointed. I'm not going to lie. I'm not going to spend any money on this game until they fix this update crap. Like, they need to fix this update as soon as possible. It's been over a month, guys. It's getting a little ridiculous. You know, I don't want these little baby updates that they keep adding on. I want the quality of life updates. I want the new heroes coming into the game updates. You know, you, if you get too repetitive, people's going to get bored, and I'm included. I'm, I'm like, I'm, I'm in the end game, I believe. And even if I'm not, I'm close to it. And I don't know, I, I just... To keep players interested, including myself, you got to keep coming out with new things. Make them want to stay in the game. Keep it interesting. And, you know, I, I don't I don't know what's going on with the whole Apple situation. But the fact of the matter is, I don't know. They need to I don't care what you need to do. But Moon 10, you guys need to fix this. Fix this so the game can thrive. I make content for this game. I don't want to get bored with this game. OK, I'm going to leave it at that. Moon 10, fix it. But nonetheless, here we got the summons. So we have this banner right here. We got Setrum. We got Serafina. Both good heroes in the game. I mean, Serafina is okay. People tell me she's good for single target arena. Me personally, I haven't built her out. But uh, judging from where I'm at in single target arena, honestly, single target arena is the only arena stage I do because my team's just so good for single target arena. So that's where I build up my points. I very rarely go against Serafina, so I don't know how good. I don't know if people's like, oh, she's pretty good for single target arena, but I'm sitting here thinking like, how come I've never gone against her? I, I, it's very rarely I go against her, and there hasn't been a single time I've went against her, and I'm like, wow, this chick's absolutely destroying my team right now. Maybe I'm just getting unlucky, but who knows? But I guess her best use is single target arena. That's what people's been telling me. I mean, she looks kind of cool, though. She's got the whole fire on the hands, Medusa thing happening. I mean, pretty cool looking chick. Uh, but we go over here to the reviews. I mean, it's very underwhelming reviews. This is from the people, guys. It's from the people. This is what people rated her. Okay, so single target arena, she still got a 4.7. That's solid, but for a legendary, if this is her best rating, is that really solid? Like, you know, 4.7. I guess, you know, take the good with the bad, but I think that she is a okay hero. I wouldn't say that she's someone that is super overpowered or anything. Setrum, on the other hand, he's pretty dang good. Pretty dang good, guys. Uh, the thing that makes him so special is first off this ultimate. He just does this continuous attack. All these beams coming out, or not beams, I'm sorry. Uh, he shoots these missiles. Okay, missiles, all right, there, missiles. I mean, I don't know why it's not continuous on here, but uh, it's supposed to be continuous. He just all the way through, right? Um, so that's what makes him so special um, because it just claps and it claps hard. You wanna talk about a guy who is the clapper of cheeks? We got my guy Setrum right here. He's the clapper of cheeks. And also, if you need those hard to reach places, look at that range. Look at that range. Oh my God, when he goes into his ultimate, check this range out. My goodness, that is an awesome range. And then we come right over here. Without the ultimate, it's still got one of the best ranges in the whole entire game. I mean, if you're struggling on gear raid three and you don't have Silas and you don't have Setrum, Setrum could be the guy that could get you past the hump. He's that good, guys. He's really good, especially for Gear Raid 3. I'm assuming he's a 5.0 for Gear Raid 3. Um, okay. Uh okay, Gear Raid 3, 4.9. I would give him a 5.0 for Gear Raid 3. Uh single target arena, he's pretty solid for that as well. Ooh, Immortal Codex. Don't get me started on that. You know the Lord of the Sticks. You want to talk about getting the triple S tier? He just makes it that easy. He just makes it that easy. If you need help on the Lord of the Sticks, fear no longer. Go ahead and pull on this banner. Setrum will get you that triple S tier. I mean, it's not guaranteed. Of course, you're going to have to build him out, and you need some other good heroes as well. But he just does a really awesome job, mainly because of uh, his ultimate, right? Um, so, so Setrum is a very good hero. Very good hero. Uh, and then we come down here. Um, I mean, the epics are cool. We got Baron. Baron's one of the best defenders in the game, uh, mainly because he comes with unyielding and, uh, oh, excuse me, sorry, I have acid reflux right now, but it's mainly because he comes with unyielding and then he can also heal himself. I mean, 
you build him right, he's going to be very hard to kill, especially for Guild Wars. I actually use him for my Guild Wars team right now, and let's just say my guy is a beast, all right? So Baron, I, I like that he's in here. Um, we got Kalina. Kalina, man, she, she's I. She's I. Uh, nah, I, actually, you know what? I tried her out. I tried to make her work. Um, me, personally, I couldn't get her to work. I would say she's trash. <laughs> she's uh, I, I, she comes with true damage at least. She comes with true damage, but um, a little bit on the trash side. I mean, she looks cool though. But you guys could correct me if I'm wrong on that. Then Lily, Lily's awesome. She's part of the Piercer Lord faction, which makes it very, very nice. She's very good for uh, I think it's Gear Dungeon Two. Gear Dungeon Two, solid for that. I mean, she's good for Guild Wars. She she's good for a lot of phases in the game. So solid epics, solid legendaries um i like it i like this banner right here i like it but we also got the double legendary event you know i, I was kind of taking a big dump on the double legendary event for a while because i wasn't getting lucky but i always pull on it because it's one of my favorite events but then last time they came out with it which was honestly i don't know what two three weeks ago um last time they came out with it i got blessed i got i got i can't remember who i got but i got two really good heroes on the uh i think i think it was morrigan morrigan uh and someone else but morrigan was really good i don't have morrigan so i was pretty stoked about that uh me personally i'm not going to pull on this banner I, i'll just do it for content if i do pull the double legendary once i pull the double legendary i'll switch over to this um me personally i would say wait for the double legendary try to get it because you can only use it one time once once you pull that double legendary one time you can't do it again so you might as well switch to the next banner i think go ahead and try your luck with Setrum over here um but you know uh it, you can't go wrong either way but i i like me personally i i just really like doing the double legendary first you know you never know you could get Setrum on this Setrum and let's say silas then you'll be like oh my god i'm so glad i did the double legendary event but keep in mind there's notorious heroes that always love to pop up for this as well. I've pulled a, I, I remember I got the, uh, I think it was like a Cratch Kriya combo. What you think of that? Yeah, I wasn't too happy. I was like, oh, okay. Okay, it's going to be one of those days, huh, Moonten? But um, yeah, so I, I wish all you guys the best of luck, man. I, I hope everyone gets lucky. Um, I hope this double legendary event is kind of like the last one. The last one was the first time in a long time that I seen a bunch of people getting lucky on it. Like, I'm not, I'm not joking. A bunch of people was getting blessed on the last double legendary event. So hopefully this one is similar, you know, um, maybe hooking the people up for this, uh, update nonsense, you know what I'm saying? But, uh, that's all I got for tonight's video. Just wanted to go over that. You guys let me know if you're summoning or not. I definitely want to hear about it, but you guys have a great rest of your night and thank you for making it to the end.